What's up, Urban Gang? Welcome back. If this is your first time passing by the channel, join the gang. I salute you. In today's video, we are going to be comparing two different desk pads from a company called Grovemate. I'm going to be comparing these two desk pads and talk about differences in sizes, colors, etc., and other details. And at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about which one I choose. And at some point in the video, you can also find out all the details on how to win one of these two. So make sure you stick around to find out how you can win. And if you find some value in this video, all I ask from you is to hit that like button and comment in the section below. Now, Let's go ahead and cut to the comparison. Let's start with the appearance. The color options for the wool felt desk pad are light gray and dark gray, and the color options for the leather one are black and tan. They both come in four different sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large. Now, let's talk about materials. The first one I purchased was made of wool felt, and the second one was the leather one. With regards to these two, they are a bit different, so that is something to consider. The leather one is obviously smoother to the touch and gives off more of a luxurious and premium vibe. If you do not have their keyboard tray and wrist pad, I would recommend the leather one because it is going to feel better on your skin where your hands are on there resting. The felt one has a sort of rugged feel to it. If you have sensitive skin or may develop some sort of reaction to felt, this is probably not for you. In my case, I have the keyboard tray and wrist pads, so I am not placing my hands directly on the pad. However, I did use it with bare hands and I did not have an issue with it at all. The other thing to consider is that it may not be the best surface to scroll your mouse over. You may want to buy a trackpad or buy a mouse pad. I personally have the leather mouse pad, which I love. Before we move on to the next section, let's talk about how you can win the leather desk pad in this video. Before we do that, please consider hitting the like button if I am providing any value in this video. I will go ahead and take a couple seconds and wait for you. Alright, now that you've done that, let's go ahead and talk about what you need to do to win this desk pad. Number one, very simple, hit the like button. Number two, also simple, follow me here on YouTube. Number three is to follow me on Instagram, UrbanDDKNY. And the final thing is to comment on this video. Now, in order to win this, I'm putting some milestones that this video needs to reach. So, one of the following three, either 150 likes, 5,000 views, or I reach 500 subscribers. Once one of those three things occur, if you have done the four steps that I outlined in this video, then I will pick a winner and I will mail this to you. Now I will have to say, I am only shipping this to the United States and Canada. I don't know how expensive international is for this, but if I happen to pick someone who's international and maybe you're willing to pay for the shipping, then maybe that's something I can accommodate. But realistically, I would like to stick to United States and Canada users where shipping is not going to be a problem. Now, let's get back to the video. Let's talk about usability because this is a big one for me. These two desk pads have a major difference when it comes to usability. Now I will begin by saying this is my experience and it may be different for others, but I have no luck with getting the leather desk pack to comply with sitting flush. Even after letting it acclimate in my office over time to sort of let it lay flat and it has made it difficult in my case for things to just lay flat and sort of play dead. Now the wool felt pad had been perfect in that sense. It has not given me any issues whatsoever about laying down flat and once I lay it down I never have to think about it again. The final piece of the puzzle is the price. The medium wool felt pad costs $70 while the leather one costs double, yes $140. This is going to make some people's decision easy but let me first say that while using the wool felt pad I did also have to purchase the leather mouse pad with pen insert included which costs $120. Now, you can get any mouse pad if you feel the wool bothers your skin, so there might be an additional cost if you don't already own a mouse pad and need to purchase one. However, this may not be an issue for everyone and you can always use your mouse comfortably on the leather pad. The wool felt pads pros are the price. At half the price, this feels like a bargain compared to the leather one. In regards to usability, it lays flat and it's easy to set up and forget it. It's durable and it's supple. 
With regards to the cons, the materials, the wool felt might irritate your skin. You might also need to buy a mouse pad to use with your mouse for a smoother gliding experience. Now let's talk about the leather pad. The pro here is the material. It has more of a premium and luxurious feel and you will also not need to have any additional cost because you will not need to buy a mouse pad. The negatives, the price. It is actually double the price compared to the felt one and with regards to the usability, it may not lay flat completely like the felt one does. The other thing is that it's kind of delicate and it's also stiff. If you've made it this far in the video, I want to salute you. I appreciate you. Thank you for the support. If you want to watch more on Growth Mint, please watch this video right here. And for everybody else, I'm going to let YouTube recommend this right here. Again, thank you for the support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.